All right, what's up? Um, I'm gonna do a video here, hoping it can help some other people because I looked and saw a lot of conflicting information out there. And uh, talking about the uh, Raspberry Pi Argon One cases. And I have two versions here. I've got the M.2 version and I have the Argon One Pi version, Pi 4 version two. So these are great cases and they're generally loved by all, but when used in a server situation, they can have some issues. The main issue is this power button right here. By default, you need to turn it off and on every time you need to, or in my case, when the power goes out, it causes an issue because power will go out and I won't be around to turn it back on. All my other devices will, you know, uh, power on self-test, you know, automatically boot, but these things just sit there. And, um, you know, I was looking online and there were a few like uh, bash scripts out there that I tried and didn't really work great. But then I started reading through the uh, documentation and they start talking about these jumpers. And um, the documentation for, for this portion is, is the same on, on both device models, the M.2 NVMe and the version 2 for, And it says right here, pin 1 and 2 default setting, you need to press button power on from shutdown or power outage. But when you have it set jumper or pin, Two and three, it'll always be on. Power current will flow directly to the Raspberry Pi. No need to press power button to on from the power outage. And this is great. You know, in Florida, um, you know, a lot of places, the power will randomly just go out. You know, um, even mine, I've, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a managed PDU and a, um, and a UPS that keep all my devices online for uh, 60 to 90 minutes. But, you know, it goes beyond that if I'm away or whatever you know, um, it becomes really annoying. And these, these two devices are important in my network. This is my uh, home assistant server, and this here is my, uh, my tunnel, my WireGuard tunnel uh, VPN. So um, we're gonna take a look at this here. It's pretty, pretty well labeled here. The jumper's on one and two, and I wanna move that over to two and three. Do that, pull it out. You can see all three pins right there. Let's switch it to two and three. So hopefully when I put this back together, it will power on right away as soon as it's plugged in. And I'll set my PDU to give it a three second delay, just in case. So um, let's put this thing back together and see what happens. This, like I said, is my home assistant box. Uh, NVMe M.2 connector right here. Make sure that's out. This one, I do not have a SSD. I still don't think so. Um, so I'm not worried about that. Four screws here, case comes off. See the M.2 there. Don't even need to take the rest of the, any, any more parts out or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. You can see jumper one and two default. Pop that out. Two and three. Okay. Let's 
Just a little FYI, these Argon One NVMEs do get hot. I use very little processing power, very little memory, usually like below 10% overall spikes, very little above 25% ever, and disk usage, very, very low, but it still gets hot. I love it, but it does, does concern me sometimes. So uh, this one's back together. Just want to make sure this uh, USB, and USB NVMe connector gets back together this way. And another Z-Wave USB I'm using for anybody that cares. And uh, should be good to go. So now we have both devices. Ideally, they should plug in and uh, with USB, and we should see power right away. So let's check that out. All right, I'm doing some uh, cable management here, so not the prettiest right now. So we have both our pies. And by the way, one thing I don't, one thing I do not love about this, uh, PDU is um, the spacing. It's definitely one of these little bricks, not very big, takes up two outlets. But still got two, maybe three left here, low profile ones. So let's see how we did. See that? And it is buzzing, pans are spinning. There is wire guard. Let's give it some interwebs. Cable managers later. And now let's check home assistant server. Let's see how we did. Same thing. Can you hear that? It's good. So, like I said, for anybody, this Argon One case is having issues with power issues, and um, once it's power on, when there's power, push the jumper over to two and three. You should be good to go. Thanks for watching.